Hello and welcome to Altec. This is 2017 and several times again in 2018 cue card. And the question is describe furniture in your house. So this is in journal you're talking, the question is about furniture. The similar variant which was asked recently in February 2018 was about the favorite piece of furniture. What do you like the most uh, about furniture in a house? Any one piece of furniture. So it can be a dining table, or it can be your study table, anything that you like. Perhaps there's a reclining chair or even your own bed. So it depends upon your choice. What exactly do you want to proceed with? Okay. So we'll be addressing this question, these two questions, different questions related to the same topic in this video. So first of all, the question is describe furniture in your house. Please say what kind of furniture it is. What is the nature? What is the type of furniture? So uh, what is the type of furniture? We'll address this soon. How you got this furniture and how do you feel about it? You have to mention your emotions. So before we proceed to the next question, let us talk about this one. So we'll be using the usual grid and the usual quadrants we, we use for brainstorming. So spend the one minute very wisely. So you have quadrant one, two, three, and four. Um, though the question does not ask, um, when did you buy this? So the question is how you got this furniture. So where is included, but you can include when as well. So these are the three things that um, somehow exp help you explain, help you begin the question. Okay. So what kind of furniture it is? It is covered under the name. So a furniture can be of several types. It can be an antique furniture or it can be a modern furniture. Okay, just two examples. So within, within antique you can talk about a European antique or uh, your own country. For instance, Indian antique furniture inspired from the Rajasthani culture. Okay, so there is a cultural element here, or the Chinese antique furniture, okay, inspired from perhaps uh, the northern part of China, or what we call Manchuria. So that depends entirely on you. So there's a cultural element in the kind of furniture. There's a cultural element involved over here. So I'm gonna write over here culture. Okay. Now, where did you buy it? And depending upon the type of the culture you mentioned, you can name the place. So what was the place? So if you bought a modern furniture, uh, perhaps you bought it from a famous website. Okay, for instance, in India, a famous website is Urban Letter. Or you can buy it from Ikea, that entirely depends upon your choice. Um, perhaps there's a showroom, there, there is a mall, a shopping mall from which you purchased it, a furniture mall. Okay, now along with this, name the place. Uh, is it in Guangzhou, China, or Beijing, New Delhi, New York, um, Sacramento? Just name the place, okay? Perhaps it's London, so just name the place and or give the website okay now when did you buy it you have to give a year please mention an year um, perhaps it was in 2015 uh, when you got your first salary or you saved something from your pocket money and then you decided to purchase a piece of furniture um, that kind of explains um, how you got this furniture and uh, what kind of furniture it is. However, after naming the kind of furniture, you have to explain it. 
over here. So perhaps it was an antique furniture. What kind of antique was it? Okay, you have to mention the place, the culture. Sorry. To mention the culture as well. Okay. And uh, you can mention the shape of the furniture. What exactly is its shape? For instance, it's if it's a dining table, um, it may have various shapes. It may have um, you know, a rectangular shape or a square shape or even it can be circular. That entirely depends upon your uh, perception, how you want to present. However, its shape can be mentioned along with the number of people who can, who can join you on the, on the table. So the number of chairs, the occupancy, the capacity, number of chairs. Okay, the capacity. Now, uh, how you feel about this furniture? Um, the question, this this question is emitted. Why did you buy this furniture? Perhaps there would have been, a, there could have been a question. Uh, the question is, how do you feel about it? You have to mention the emotions. So over here, you can talk about various emotions such as you feel proud of this piece of furniture that you have a really expensive uh, really expensive piece of furniture that your nobody among your friends group has it and um, that's why you use it as an object for show off that you show it off to others okay um, you can feel proud of it and show it as an object. Additionally, you can also talk about that you are happy about this piece of furniture since it is a long lasting piece that, that perhaps some, some um, king used it in the past, some really an aristocrat used it in the past and perhaps you purchased this antique furniture from, from an auction Okay, so you re really feel happy that it gives you a feeling of being an aristocrat. Uh, additionally, you can talk about uh, that since all your family members, all family members consume meal on this dining table together, it promotes a feeling of unity. So you feel unified with your family, unity and integrity in your family. So... That is additional feeling. I'm sure that if you have a dining table, uh, all your family members are, are having at least one meal a day on that table. Okay. So I think this this sufficient this material should be sufficient to answer the first question. Uh, and I have given an example of a dining table to answer the second question. In general, you can talk about the all your furniture at your home. It's an antique furniture or a modern furniture. Then name the items. So you can name the dining table for the first question as well as second. For the first question, you can't stick to just one item. You have to talk about furniture in general. So you can talk about a dining table and give an example of another furniture, perhaps perhaps your, your master bed. Okay, and uh, rest of the items are, are almost the same. Uh, when you describe the design, it is almost covered in in the antique thing, the, the, the shape, the number of chairs uh, within the culture. Cultural element plays an important role in explaining the design. So culture is included over here. And how do you use it when you mention about all your family members sitting together for dinner? That's the use. And is it important to you? Of course, it is important. You can express your feelings under importance. Okay. So the idea is that you should be able to use the one minute to brainstorm the ideas and spend two minutes only for delivering the answer, only for expressing your answer. There should be no thought process involved in the two minutes, so no thinking whatsoever.
okay and if you're able to do this I'm sure you will get your desired bands just you need to jot down these ideas quickly during the one minute and then deliver them flawlessly during the two minute session I hope you like the video subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts any questions you can type them in the comments box below or email me at ltech Isles at gmail.com or visit my website there's a link to this this quest this question uh, at the end uh, just below this video uh, that will direct you to my website thank you for watching